Ryan, this is a new machine to Eurospark. This is a Hankook EDM drill. Why have you brought this into the business? Well, we, uh, we had a look around the market for a few different machines and wanted to offer a CNC machine to our customers. Uh, this one's got a good reputation, sold in the USA and it's sold across Europe, Germany, Spain, Italy. Because as a business, you sell new and used machines. This is a slightly different angle for you, isn't it? Now, I want to talk about this machine because I've looked at some of the details that's in the specification. Uh, firstly, tell me about the size of it and the capacity. Okay, so this is the smallest machine they do. It's a compact. Uh, movement is 510 by 300 nex, and it's got 440 in the Z. So that's stroke for your spark depth as well. And it's also got 250 in W if you've got any thick components that you need to put on. So it's an EDM drill. Why is someone going to buy an EDM drill? Uh, a lot of time it'll be for doing start holes on a wire machine, for example. Uh, sometimes you have applications where you need to put just put holes in things, vent holes and such. Um, and, and, th and those holes, what sort of diameters and, and depths can you go to? Uh, so this machine is 0.3 up to 6 mil is standard. If you want to go up to 6 mil, you just have to change small component and you can go up to 6. This isn't particularly common. Uh, a lot of times it's just not 0.3 up to 3. And this is 6 is standard. Okay, now you've also got on here about a wear check. Tell me a little bit about that feature within the software. Okay, so we think this is one of the main plus points on this machine. So. It will spark and as it comes down through your hole, it will come out, check on the z-axis, work out the real wear ratio, whereas on other machines, you'd be up to you to decide the wear ratio and the machine would use your input. Whereas this one, it will check. Sometimes it can go up to four times per hole to ensure that it gets the right accuracy on the depth. So basically, what we can ensure is that the depth of every hole you, you uh, drill is exactly the same? Yeah, that's correct. Okay, now let's also then talk about some of the easy programming features you've got on here. You've got easy input, pitch and repeats. Tell me about that. Okay, so for this program that's running now, uh, all I had to put in was the pitch in X, so 5 mil, and how many times I wanted to do it, so 5 times for this one. Um, if you're doing start holes for a, a plate on a wire machine, so simple, just two inputs and you get your program. Okay, now... I, what about DXF files and important things like that? Can you do that with this control? Uh, it has capability. It's got USB in the side. Um, you can put in your DXF file and you can just pick points and it will spark the points that you pick. Tell me about the Z and the W axis as well. What's the difference and, and what do the two give you? Okay, so the Z axis gives you the stroke of cut and then the W just gives you raised height of the Z so you can get a larger workpiece in if you need to. And there's one other point as well, automatic cutting conditions. What, what, what does that mean and what does that give? Okay, again, similar to other machines we sell, it's got basically a fuzzy logic control. You just tell it the electrode diameter, the material you're cutting, and it will work out the conditions for you. When you say conditions, so it will work out what, what kind of depths it should go at what speed? Uh, it just puts in all the sparking conditions, so the feed of the head, the power that will put through it. It works out everything, so all you have to put is three things and it will go. And you also mentioned to me about about drilling here where you, you go in slower, then you drill at a different speed, and then you come out slower. What, what, what's that and what's the advantage? Okay, so it's got a three-stage discharge control on the machine. So on the approach, it'll do a nice gentle spark just to get you into your material. It stops any burn on the top of your job. Once you're in, then it obviously kicks up. It goes through quickly. Then when you get to the bottom of the hole, it slows down again just to ensure that you get a nice round hole at the bottom. And then another point is the granite table. That must, that, that's a good feature, isn't it, rather than having a steel table? Yeah, a, a lot of the time with EDM drills have a stainless steel table, obviously, because of water, but a lot of the time people end up sparking into them. Um, also, granite's much less likely to distort over time than, say, steel might do. Okay, now this is quite exciting for you. Are you expecting to sell a lot of these machines in a year? Uh, we hope so, yeah. I mean, anyone who's got a wine machine could quite easily use this, and it's one up from just a normal manual machine. So you'd be kind of using it for prepping work for, for yeah. bigger jobs as well? Yeah, so any, like I say, any wine machine, have a, a start hole from an EDM drill, and you can get this one for similar price, same price even as just a standard manual machine. We spoke about the functionality and the spec, but the access is quite good as well, and you've got the perspex all around it, so you've got plenty of clear vision when you're looking at what you're doing. Yeah, it's, it's clear, you can see, as you can see, it's all sparking nicely, and not too much mess either. And the tanks around the side? Ah, yeah, uh, it's got, uh, on the side, it's got its own filtration system, so any dirty water gets filtered, cleaned, and recycled, and it's also deionized, whereas some other machines, they have buckets around the back, um, and you're always emptying buckets, filling them up, whereas this one, it's just all 
self-contained. Because you guys are specialists here at Eurospark when it comes to EDM. You spent a lot of time making sure you got the right machine to sell, haven't you? Yeah, of course, as with everything. Good stuff. Thanks, Ryan. Thank you.